my friends to another Subi Shaves video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Thank you so much for clicking today's shave video. All I have to say is squad goals and Subi smiles to all of you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Hopefully wherever you're tuning in from, you've got yourself something cold in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome. I'm thrilled to have you here today for today's razor review. We're going to be talking about the Rocknell SE-P. I just barely got this razor a couple days ago in the mail and I did give it a test shave. This is again the SE dash p dash 2016 dash tr as you can see it's stamped right on the head there it is a stainless steel razor designed in turkey it is 137 ish or 37 or 38 ish grams depending on what your scale is saying but today we're going to be talking about this it's loaded up with some lab blues and we're going to be doing a head shave on 72 hours to kind of talk about showcase what this razor is capable of this does not have lather holes this is a, a razor where you slide the blade into it then snap the tabs off of it to get it to line up correctly. I'm going to preface correctly. We're going to talk about the things that I think this razor uh, does well, and we're going to talk about the things that I think are misses. There's a couple points I want to call out as we're shaving today, but I want to just be clear and transparent just because I don't love something doesn't mean somebody else doesn't, right? I'm going to try to be as respectful as possible while discussing some of the things that I think are flaws or design... Uh, design errors really straight up honestly <laughs> some some issues uh, i'm really excited about it and i'm excited to have you here for it with me today we're going to be using the bailey's irish cream this is the bailey's deliciousness from phoenix artisan accoutrements come on it's march it's march time we've got to use this right we got to break it out it's one of my favorite march scents i honestly i think last march that's all i used i swear i love this scent by phoenix artisan accoutrements if you're curious what it smells like it smells like booze it smells like bailey's least it has vanilla to it it's a very sweet scent but for me it does smell like that little bit of extra um cup of joe goodness if you, if you really want an honest truth there it does smell like bailey's irish cream and i really like it. i think it's a fun scent and it was limited last year i don't know if doug's re-releasing it this year but i really like it we're going to be using that beautiful green mountain hair shaving glowing brush because it's green right and we're going to be doing it in our phoenix artisan this is the travel scuttle and there's a reason why because not only is the razor we're using today definitely not my preference but the scuttle that I was going to use took a dive into my sink and is no longer with us. My PA Dreamscape scuttle is dead. It broke. I am tr I am super devastated by it. But that doesn't mean you can't get a good lather with the travel scuttle from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Dreamscape scuttle is a fragile ceramic. I mean, it, you can be kind of, you know, mishandled a little bit, but mine took a fair drop today and it is no longer with us. So again, travel scuttle with this beautiful, Beautiful scent, absolutely fantastic. Bailey's beautiful Irish cream. We've already got lathered up and whipped up on the dome today. Like I said, 72 hours of growth. I did film this on the stubble cam, which I'll have down here. I want to mention this. I did that as a kind of like a, a fun little, like just kind of a joking manner, you know what I mean? And people reached out and said they loved it. They're like, show us the stubble cam more often. So as, as, as requested, I will have the stubble cam for the 72 hours. It is thick. It is dense. My hair is just almost ready to go to a stylist. I go crazy. Let's get rid of it. Let's Let's go back to that fresh, clean, crisp, soupy, super smooth shave. At least let's try to with this razor. Now, the first thing I did when I unboxed this is I, I noticed is that it's a really beautiful box. You can tell that Rock Note spent a lot of time designing their their um, the way you the presentation when you open it up, right? That experience as you open it up and you see this beautiful blue box. I honestly I was like, oh, this is really really nice presentation. You open it up and it's like magnetic. It's got that magnetic closure to it. So it's really nice. You open it up, it's got that foil hollow graphic um, sticker on it to show the label and the, the serial number and it's got like you know made in turkey really pretty box velvet lined 
They spent no expenses spared. Now, this is $100, $99 on TRC. It just barely went up on their website. And that's when I jumped over and bought it. I was really excited. I saw this and I said, this is a razor in 2016 I missed, right? They did this razor in an open comb and a closed bar. And I was really excited because I didn't get to try it out. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, let's get this thing. So I bought it. I jumped on it. And then I started thinking to myself, I said, well, maybe I should research that a little bit more. So I did some reading and I ended up finding out a lot of people that own this earlier on didn't tend to enjoy it or they loved it, right? There was a dichotomy where there was either loved it or absolutely hated it. I think part of the issue here is the way it's loaded. So I will have the loading video going below, loading it correctly as intended, right? Where you take the blade after you've cut it because you have to start with a half DE, right? And then you slide it in. You don't slide it in this way. You slide it in this way. If you try to slide it in this way, you can. The problem is the blade tends to want to wobble. And as you're wobbling that blade, sliding it like this, it's very dangerous. Right? If you think about an injector blade, as you slid it in with the machine, there, there's a reason why they use that little the guide because as you're sliding it in, if it's doing this like motion right next, it can cut you really, really badly. So you slide it in like this. The problem is, is the tabs that you slide it in with are bendy, right? So as you're bending it and putting it, it's very uncomfortable on your hands. So most people will set, use a towel. You grab the towel, you slide it in. There's a problem though. There's an amount of pressure that you can put on a blade to get it all the way back, right? And I think the problem is a lot of people that are using this razor are not getting it fully seated because it's very, very uncomfortable to put the blade back all the way, right? To put it back all the way, it's extraordinarily kind of fragile and those little tabs will want to wobble on you. So I think most people can feel it start to bind and they pull off and they say, okay, it's good. Problem is there's about two millimeters of binding that has to occur for that blade to be really, really tense in there. So what I used is a blade box to push the blade all the way back. Now, I reached out to my buddy who used this razor recently, my buddy, good old Greg, and I, I said, you know, you really liked it. Show me your blade exposure. So he sent me a photo and I'll have my photo below. They were different. I thought that was really interesting. They were very, very different. His had about two millimeters of different gap on it. And I said, are you sure yours is fully loaded? He goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was fully loaded. And I said, mine's fully loaded for sure because I'm pushing it all the way back with the blade box and they're different. So he shaved with it. He liked it at that exposure, but because the exposure can vary, I want to mention that the, the exposure can vary. And because of that, it makes it very hard for me to recommend a product where it doesn't have a set amount of exposure. When you think about something like the twig, right, where you put that blade on there and you set it down you, any user can verify that that blade is loaded and it's correct and it's straight same thing goes with even like something like the yachi katana razor right that other half dese and when you start looking at these compared side by side with the sizing i mean there's some differences as just the size look at the look at the chunkiness to this guy right so you can see it's a hefty thick very very large razor but on top of that because you can't verify that the razor is loaded correctly that for me is a big con now say you were to get it loaded you you found a placement on the blade where you liked it another issue for me with this razor is you can see the overhang and i want to mention this again you look at that overhang you can see where the blade on that corner there overhangs I don't like this, this overhang you can fill. Now, if you're shaving just your face, right, and you're coming like this, and you're able to go at the angle where it's completely neutral, flat, flush every single time, you're not gonna fill it. But say you're doing the back of your neck, right? You're gonna kinda come in and you're gonna kinda angle it a little bit. Eventually, you're gonna fill that corner right there, I promise you. I fill it almost every time I do an ATG on the back of my neck. I asked Greg, I said, can you tell me, can you tell me how it fills ATG? He goes, I don't really do ATG, I don't chase the, I don't chase the baby, right? I don't like the way that fills. So a lot of people, I think if you're not shaving ATG, if you have skin, that, um, you don't, you, you're gonna do that one motion, or you're doing something that's very flat, you may never notice this. I notice it constantly. If you, I had noticed that overhang all the time. Another thing, and we'll mention this as we're going, is the flat bar here does not have any lather holes. <laughs> Take a look here. Why? Why no lather holes here? <laughs> Why no lather holes? Give me a couple to have some drainage. So what ends up happening, like, you know, with my old Lecoq razor of old, right? It didn't have lather holes, but the thing is it was very, a lot of space and you could lift it up far enough where the lather could flow through it. This does not have that option. It can't flow through it. So what ends up happening is all that lather ends up building up underneath the blade and it takes some swirling magic nonsense to get that lather to leave from underneath that blade. I had a lot of clogging with this razor and I don't ever have clogging. People will mention with the high proof 
right? So they're like, you know, that's another DE, SE slash DE, right? Where you just have a DE. They're like, I've been using this razor. All it gets clogging. I never get clogging with this one. I get lots of clogging with this one. Let's get some shaving started. We'll keep talking about it. But it's a weird little razor for me, at least for me. I don't like the loading mechanic. I don't like snapping things off. And honestly, I think uh, from a modern razor, this asks too much for its user on a daily um, basis to load, just to load. You're like, I it's gonna take me 10 minutes to load. I don't know if I wanna do it. I'll use like something, I'll use anything else. Well, we're gonna start some swipes here. Now with the way I have loaded where I've pressed the blade all the way back to verify that is 100% guaranteed loaded correctly. Here's the thing. It's extremely, extremely mild. It's as mild as a mild razor can be. We're again, 37 hours, or sorry, excuse me, 72 hours, we're three days, the three in there. It's three days worth of growth. And you'll notice, this is not gonna take off a whole lot of growth, for me at least. Um, as far as the ATG swipe, I needed that ATG. The um, With the grain, you know, the WTG, with the grain um, shaving, it really just does not work well. I am having a hard time even filling the blade, to be perfectly honest. Honest. having a really hard time feeling anything happening now i know for a lot of you out there that are saying wait subs you need to go back you need to try this four or five times i agree with you listen i am with you a thousand percent i think any person that uses a razor and doesn't like it should opt you know to uh, use it like five six ten times even before they rate it here's the thing i just shook it as hard as i could take a look here you can see it starting to happen where it builds up underneath that blade. Doesn't matter what I do, I have tried washing it, swishing it, I've tried um, getting it underneath the uh, faucet. It takes a lot of work to start getting that um, buildup to go away. And if you keep shaving, doing your swipes, you know, uh, over and over and over again, I have a hard time keeping that um, from building up. And as it builds up, you start losing, you, I mean, you really lose all the efficiency of the razor. Any and all of the efficiency that the razor has goes away with <laughs> with the swipe. Now, here again, I'm not trying to dis, uh, you know, discredit people that love the razor. You can see it. We are getting some stubble to come off there. I'm not discrediting anybody that likes this. I'm just saying, for me, this is, is a razor that I wanted to get out, a uh, review I wanted to get out because I wanted people that are looking over at TRC that are saying to themselves, is this worth buying for $100? A Rocknell, right? Rocknell has a tendency, it has a reputation of being very, very good shavers, having high quality razors, and having really nice machining. At least that's the, the um, kind of the information I have read and the kind of reputation that I have seen. Now you can see here, take a look, we're getting stubble to come off, right? Oh, there are swipes that are working for me. There are swipes that are not working for me. I'm having kind of a, a mixed experience here. And that was my experience the first time I tried this out. I want to preface that again. I did try this out because the reviews on this razor were very, very mixed. And I wanted to go into this and have, see, I got the corner there. I wanted to go in here and kind of have uh, an idea of how it was going to shape for us before I got on, on channel here and talked about it. I just, this is a very strange, very mild. And as the lather builds up in the razor, you almost have to keep swiping and then like a swipe and then rinse and a swipe and rinse. You can see here, we're getting a lot of stubble to come off on that ATG swipe. But again, check it out. I, I shook it hard. You can see it has a really hard time flowing for me. And that's with pretty hydrated lather. I'm not gonna say I have the best lather in the biz, but we have hydrated lather. I know that, I know it's hydrated. And I know that, oh, I got the corner again. I constantly get that corner. I think it just showcases that I have skills that need to be improved. Because for me, I get the corner almost every single swipe. We're gonna be shaving for the next five minutes. Just so everybody's clear, this is gonna take me forever to get through. I was worried with this amount of stubble that I was gonna be um, asking too much from this razor. I think it is very mild. I think if I were to rate it on blade fill, when it's fully loaded correctly, and I'm gonna stress that again because I think there's a lot of users out there that say, oh, I get lots of blade fill and it shaves really, really intensely. They don't have that razor loaded. I don't believe they've got that razor loaded. I think they may have that razor crooked because it's very easy to have crooked, right? Another thing, and I'm gonna mention this because I think it's important, is that these corners right here when you snap them off, they don't always snap off clean. Take a look here. You see that right there? Mine didn't snap off clean today and I've got a sharp, freaking little sharp knife edge right there. So when you are using this, if you were to go to shave your armpit and you put it here, you may catch that corner on the side of your arm or something and really do some damage. I know because I have done it. I have done it myself. Now again, this is a razor that I, I thought that the reputation of Rocknell would make it so that the razors that they produce were, would be consistent. But from what I'm finding, it is a very, very, I, I think it's almost like a, a cool concept, 
that is not really well done. You know, it's not executed well, in my opinion. Now you can see, does it shave? Sure. Now, if you accidentally bump the blade, say you were to set it down on its side, you have one of these edges, like not all the way, you know, it's a little bit exposed. What's gonna happen is that blade can move. There's not a lot of pressure on that blade holding it back there, to be honest, so that you can slide it out, right? Because of that, the blade can do this. It can wobble side to side. I asked a couple people that own the razor, I said, I said, go ahead and just put a little pressure on that corner and see what happens. Everybody just moves. Every single person I talked to moves and they said, well, that's not a problem because I never put the razor down or I don't have a problem with that because you know I don't ever have a, a surface that's on level. If you're shaving a surface on like a kneecap, right? And it were to hit a corner on that um, on your knee, it will move, slide and cut you. I, I, I know because I did it. I have had it happen. It is not a great, in my opinion, not a great razor to be shaving if you're not shaving a flat surface. Now, again, we are shaving very, very, sh um, with very sharp blades and we are shaving against the grain and we're doing a lot of buffing strokes here. And I know people said, this is a wicked razor. It's a dangerous razor. It's a sharp and very, very efficient razor. I don't find that at all at the 140 grams. I thought this would be way more wicked. I thought it'd be way more um, efficient. I thought it'd be way, way more, uh, you know, blade for uh, blade fill forward. It's really not for me, at least that's it for me. Now I always say, you know, Skittles only. We talk about the Molos only. We talk about the, um, the charms. For me, this is more like a bowl of grape nuts, really. really for me, this is like when you were eight years old, they sit down, they hand you a bowl of grape nuts, you're like, give me anything else, anything. I would rather have, you know, uh, honeycomb than get, the, don't give me this, don't, don't give me this, anything. Give, give me some of the, what are grandma and grandpa eating? Give me something that they're eating. This for me, is just something that just feels really, like for a modern razor, like a lot of work, like a lot of effort, like it's just not really doing it for me at all. I, I'm going to keep going here. Like uh, that was my problem is last time I just kept buffing. And you can see the more I buff here, the more it comes off. I just kept buffing last time until my skin was angry and I had patches that were not shaved. <laughs> this is what happened to be perfectly honest. It was, I had areas on my head that were not shaved and I had areas that felt pretty smooth. And then the rest of it was just irritated. The whole entire skin of my head was irritated and I, I haven't picked it up since. <laughs> to be honest, I picked it up one time. I messed around. I used five blades. I want to mention that again. I, I circulated through five different blades. I tried Lord Derby. I tried two different types of personas and feather. One shave. I did all five. I did a full body shave, a head shave, face shave. Every single blade, I, 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 I tried double stacking because you can get a second blade under there to help increase rigidity and also make it so the blade doesn't move as much. That's how I ended up doing the body shave because it was giving me cuts all over when the blade would shift. So I ended up putting a second blade underneath there to um, try to help it um, be a little more secure and that does work i will showcase that right now i have a video right down here showcasing that you can slide a secondary blade underneath that to create more rigidity and to create more torque i found that to help the shave quite a bit but i don't think it saves the razor and i don't want to um, you know go on channel here and say i think you should own this razor after all the effort i've had to put into it to try to get it to work well take a look here Ah, uh, yeah, it shaves, it's shaving. And that's what I think a lot of people will notice is, oh, it's shaving really well. The BBS was not a BBS for me. It was a DFS that lasted probably, uh, I would say 12 hours. I got about a 12 hour DFS. Never was truly BBS. I had a lot of spots in my head that were very, very, very unshaved and very, very uncomfortable. To be perfectly honest, for a safety razor to give me a really uncomfortable shave, it's rare. I very rarely, with a modern razor, have a super bad shave. I think a lot of companies produce really, really good gear, especially in the modern era with modern blades. And that's why I think a lot of people that watch our channel enjoy it because there's a lot of good gear out there that we review, right? There's a lot of stuff out there that gets me super excited because for me, coming from a cartridge, I never got a good shave, right? I never got a shave that was like, ooh, this could definitely, definitely be the thing. And then I switched over to wet shaving. And I was like, holy cow, there's a lot of razors out there that give really good shaves. I don't think so. <laughs> With this one, I just don't see this converting anybody. I know that, again, this has a perfect score over on TRC for reviews. Um, a lot of people that have used this razor have found that they like it. And I may just be the odd duck, right? I felt like I was kind of in a twilight zone when I reached out to a couple of my friends and said, we love it. It's phenomenal. Rocknell smashed it. And I was like, I, I just don't understand. Even loading it, you had to slide that blade into that little teeny tiny crevice. Into the crevice, you could say. You had to slide it in there. And that alone, it takes some skill. Like you're kind of like doing this every morning with a sharp object in your hand. You like that? I said, you really enjoy it. What about the gap? I said, you, the gap is, you know, 
modular. You're moving it around. It can change mid shave. They said, yeah, that's a, that's a perk. You can make it more aggressive. You should, you should love that. I was like, I don't love that. I don't love that for the users using it. I don't love it for the, for the fact that I think that it produces wildly inconsistencies, right? I think it's an inconsistent shaver. I think person to person there, everybody's using this razor is using it differently. They're using it at different blade gaps. I think some people that are using this, I know some people that are using this, don't have the blade um, loaded at a linear level, right? It's not straight. And I don't blame them. It's hard to make sure it's straight. I had to use a blade box with more pressure than I prefer because I don't want to dull my blades. But in order to get that to load straight, it's difficult, right? Now, here's the last thing I want to note is we're all done shaving now, right? We've got our, we got our gunk under there. We've got some nastiness. We got, <laughs> I'm going to have to like scrub it out to get this stuff to leave. But we, we've done the shave. It's all done. How do you get the blade out of there now? I just want to know. You, you take it off the tabs. You've removed it. How do you get that blade out? <laughs> right safely so for me i what i've been doing is i've been taking my blade box again and kind of wedging it in the side here like this and then pressing forward over and over and over but as i did that i want to show you guys this so just taking a little bit of pressure there you can see that blade is now cantered right it's slight but it's cantered that's all it took to make that blade cantered it is definitely definitely easy to move that blade does not take any pressure to get it go <laughs> this for me, I'm going to be straight honest here with you guys, 100% transparency. That's what I preach. It's what I believe in. I think this is a miss. It's a miss for me. It's a razor that I would say if there's any other option, get that. <laughs> Try that. Almost any other option other did it shave. Sure. I think we got a pretty darn good shave here. I have some stubble here here i can feel there's definite stubble here i'm not going to keep shaving it though because it's not going to come off and all i'm going to end up with is irritation we're grabbing a little bit of the shave splash here we're going on but for me and i really hate doing this but i just wanted to uh, do the review so people that are buying this can kind of see how it works see some of the things that i think are flaws and understand that even though it has the rock Nell name it is a beautiful 316 stainless steel and it is going to be a material that's going to last I don't think this is a razor that I would ever pick up and it's not a razor that I would recommend other people get it personally because this right here is hard to load. It's hard to see that if it's, it is correct, it's hard to unload. And on top of that, it clogs consistently for me. Uh, it's very, very, very mild when loaded correctly. And the fact that you don't know if it's loaded correctly and you have to ask yourself the entire time, is that straight? It's not a great razor in my opinion. That's again for me. Thanks again for joining me for this. Again, the Rocknell SEP, this right here, it sounds like a military name. It sounds like something that was like being designed with many, many attempts. I don't know how they ended on this one. <laughs> But this is what they came up with, and this is the razor we reviewed. Thanks again for joining me for it. I'll catch you guys in the next Subi Shaves video. I'm going to go enjoy a barely DFS shave. I'll see you in the next one. Subs out.